Why is he being so indignant? Okay, fine, fine, fine. Cause he if he gonna be a little asshole about it. We're gonna have to um change his diaper. I think that's the problem. Now we gotta put him back on that potty. Cause he's gonna learn today. I think if Charlotte was doing it, it'd be going faster. So maybe he'll change his diaper and then let the boy go. And then he can walk away and Charlotte can come get him. No, no, no. I, was, I said put the baby down first, though, stupid. She's like, I'm going to go drink some potions. She hungry. Yeah, you know what? You take a break, too. Well, well, we'll get him in a minute. I'm glad she got that nurture bullshit trait thing that we gave her. Because he's learning much faster with her. Are all my children starving again? Because that's kind of like, you're being so needy right now, you know? It's like, stop. One more time, Charlotte. One more time. Charlotte with that one one more time. And then we'll do this one. And that one's Vince, right? Yeah. Oh, this whole room is just piss covered. It's so gross. You better not try and walk away. You ain't going to watch no TV. You stay right there. There we go. See? There we go. It's done now. It's done now. Stop pooing. Stop pooing. Leave the potty. See, now we go take care of you. You get out the piss room. Stay out. Oh my goodness, could you like distribute diapers or like something? See, look, your sister is distributing food. There we go. Now I don't gotta worry about you no more. We're gonna age you up in a bit. Okay, he got a bottle. When he's done, we're gonna just teleport him to the middle of the floor. And then we'll age him up. I don't know where the hell she thinks she's going. But he better stop. Who walking in our house? Ho ass maids? I guess that's that's fair that the whole ass maid. Oh, that baby's too close to that baby. Now I got teleporting youth babies. Fast out eating the bottle. You good now. You teleport right here for mommy. Kid, don't touch nobody. Yeah, don't don't be so close to each other though. Get give each other some breathing room. Stop walking places. That's fine. Not all in a nice little line. Now we can start aging them all up. I tell you guys, I have like the worst headache for them just screaming and crying. I'm so glad I don't even have my headphones on right now because I can't take it going directly into my ear. I can't take that. I would like be grinding my teeth. Charlotte, um, come watch these fools grow up and live lives and whatnot. Missing it, Charlotte. <laughs> Yay. Uh, sure, a hothead. Great. Charlotte, do you have hopes and dreams for the other children? No. Okay. We only have hopes and dreams for two of them. And now she's trying to float real quick. Oh, she wants to have another baby. In time. In time. I can't believe with as many as she's had. She's almost had 40 now. She's at 38. I can't believe she's still like, I can't wait to have more. That's fun for me. <laughs> He's like over it. Over it. Completely and, and totally over it. Vehicle enthusiast. That's not a trait that you get too often. Especially not randomly. Anyway, come on. Got a few more. I know they're tired. Oh, was he going to go sleep in his mom's bed? You better not. Hold on a second. Because I, I have a feeling that's what... Oh, he's talking to the whole ass... He asking the whole ass maid for a bedtime story? can't be doing that shit and since they're so exhausted i'm gonna let them go to bed i'm not trying to force them to do no school work i gotta remodel the baby room too there we go he got the protective of his eye that's nice because that's another trait that don't show up often let me see his eyes yep he got his daddy's eye i don't know why that weird glowing because down here he don't have that skin tone um get in a bed I feel bad for the doggy. I'm going to play with the dog for a little bit. Uh, if I take the dog for a walk, is that like socializing with it? Care? No, I don't want to care for it. Not that much. Teach trick. How sit? Let's teach the dog sit. That should give us some social, right? I guess our little girl's going to grow up. Dang, it's going to be a whole lot of boys and one girl in this house. So we'll probably get Charlotte pregnant later on today, I suppose. Yeah, it's plenty of time to get pregnant. 
<laughs> we got hours to get pregnant. We'll be fine. Uh, frugal. Why, why he had to be cheap, though? All y'all go to bed now. We got one more growing up, though. Our little girl's growing up. Even my twin sons don't look nothing alike. It's so cute, though. Our little ladybug, Onisha. It's time for you to grow up now, Onisha. The girl's room is empty. There we go. She's clumsy. I, I can see that. Like, oh, Onisha. How you just fall down? Yeah, why didn't you go to bed? He's still asking his hoe for a bedtime story. He better stop. Uh, Charlotte is actually taking a nap right now. The baby's room is so gross. It's so gross. Um, I'm gonna switch it around a little bit. Let me just, uh, I'm gonna put this stuff in the inventory. And just to make things even, I'll even get a fork potty. Um, I think I put the mirror in here, right? Yeah, I did. Doing all kinds of movements. Uh, now I don't like that mirror for the room, though. I think I'll get another mirror. But, um, yeah, that's fine. This is this is a better setup. It's still gross. The room's still covered in pee. Made, it's still gonna have to fix that. But, uh, yeah. At least all the kids are going to bed. Um, uh, I am gonna move, uh, the two out right now. The two little fairy kids need to move out. Of course, I gotta get them jobs as well. Uh, so let's look for jobs for them. What would you, maybe art appraisal? Cause you gotta have jobs outside of your being fairy stuff. You know what I mean? Maybe music, you could do something music, symphony. Oh no, hold on, fan. There you go. And now we're, uh, we'll move you out. Of course we gotta put down a lot for them. No one, we gotta have enough money. So let's get money out the bank. Shaw, I'm gonna need you to wake up, get some money. Oh, she never even talked to the dog. That's sad. For the poor dog. Um, online banking, withdraw cash. I say at least 13,000 is enough to get them out of here happily. Because, you know, they love to take more when they leave. See, now it says, like, adopt pet from shelter, place pet for adoption check neighborhood for pets to adopt it didn't say none of that remember when i was trying to get a dog for this household before it said like none of that she still want to go to the spa and i don't blame her i don't blame her that don't do it yet because she's taking too long to get this money out okay all righty how much we oh my gosh look how much we got in the bank we doing good i still feel like we deserve our child support yes our situation is not as dire as it once was but i still feel like we deserve it um you might as well put those hot dogs down because you ain't gonna microwave them mom's gonna have to microwave them no just you and your brother are moving i wish you would can you take the dog honestly would you like to take billy because i don't want billy i don't like i'm sorry i know you guys like the dog the dog annoys the shit out of me. Somebody should love that dog. And it can't be me. I can't. I can't love it. So you guys take the dog. And move into the house down here with the dog. And you need to be perfect. And you're not even taking that much money with you. I'm so proud of you for not taking all mommy's money. How she got a crop top? Mm -mm. <laughs> I just know she had a crop top for her every day. <laughs> Okay, another set of my kids are going. Goodbye, kids. I, I know I need to check the mail soon. I just don't feel like doing it right now. Um, I love you. Please remember that always. Uh, I'm getting rid of all this. Oh, Charlotte want a tattoo? We should get Charlotte a tattoo. She's never had a tattoo before. My son got promoted. That's nice to hear. So proud of my son for getting promoted. He's a freelance writer now. He got um, a level two writing skill. We got money in the bank. Kids are all taking naps. As soon as as soon as y'all go, would y'all like to take the dog stuff with you? Oh, it's too late to put it in your pocket. That's okay though. You figure it out in your sloppy jalopy. Bye, kids. Thanks for taking that mangy mutt. Oh, my babies. Glad they have a car. Um, cause yeah, I I don't like having pets. I I don't think I'm gonna pander to nobody when it comes to pets. Unless it is specifically a let's play that has to do with pets, I probably will not have pets in-game anymore because I can't stand it. What's the problem is? 
What's the problem is, Charlotte? Something wrong with the microwave now, Charlotte? Charlotte hungry. Well, then just eat. We don't even need to make the hot dogs. We, we have money now, Charlotte. We don't have to eat processed food that contains human DNA. And if you guys think I'm making a joke, y'all the ones mistaken. Like, there have been percentages of human DNA found in hot dogs. In most brands. Let Charlotte eat. Nana got a job? Oh, she she a bedpan cleaner. Oh, that's not a good job. Not, Nana got a bad promotion. Um, I'm definitely gonna take Charlotte out on the town. I think, um, she has enough points for the age free, so I might do that now, too. What is this thing I gave her? Meditative sleep trance? I don't know what that is. But let's go down. Age freeze potion. The purchaser of this reward receives age freeze potion. Drink this potion. Immediately stops the sin's biological clock preventing further aging. I like to get our honorary degree just for shits and giggles. I, I, but I'm going to do the age freeze. We're going to buy her that age free potion. She still has more points left to do something. Uh, let me see. It says... Look for the age free potion in your Sims inventory. After drinking it, you will only age up if they use a birthday cake. Okay. That's fair enough. That's fair. Well, right now, she is an adult. She's not a young adult. She has 15 days till she's an elder. We don't want her to be an elder. And we don't need to go back to young adulthood. That's for her children, I think. That should be like an age group reserved for her kids to be able to go into. You know, I know eventually her kids are going to be elders and stuff. But, uh, that's okay. Um, she don't have to drink it right now. She can drink it in a bit. I kind of want to clean the house up a little bit. House is so messy. And that homemade did not clean anything. Like, the, pu the pee puddles are still here. So, what was she doing? Because I didn't see her do anything. Okay, so Charlotte is up. She's out and about. She's taking a shower. That's good because you want to smell fresh when you're about to do a brand new man for the first time and let's also call a repair person to come and fix stuff and while we're also waiting for the repair man to get here can we can we build now okay yeah let me get rid of the uh, the dog stuff too oh it's so nice to get rid of the doggy stuff i know y'all love the dog i didn't i'm i'm sure we'll get a pop-up at some point telling us the dog is dead or like doing whatever it is dogs do with their lives but like i i don't i didn't want the dog no more also i want to switch the seats around just because for some reason it seems like my kids have trouble with the seats i think the only supernatural people that i made that charlotte has not slept with yet is the yellow ghost who was like the electric like electrocuted ghost and the purple fairy and I tried to get the pro fairy, and he was like, no, he wasn't having it. But I'm going to invite him over again. Maybe if I text him a little bit, because he seemed like he got an attitude problem because he's dating one of my kids, so he think he's too good for Charlotte. In fact, should I go get Charlotte's tattoo first before I go get her um, knocked up again? She, got, she sent him a text now. Wait a minute, what's that? Why, why is that van across the street? They moving? They going to college? Who going to college? Who is you? Oh, you live here? Have you always lived here? <gasps> Bailey! You's an old hoe. You's gonna die. D do you know that I slept with your husband? Or at least I think I slept with your husband. I know he hit on me. I can't remember all this. Um, where is the, um, makeover place? I'm gonna go here and get a tattoo. Hope the kids don't mind that we're leaving them home alone while they sleep. And they're going to wake up and be like, Mother, where are you, Mother? And it's going to be like, Mother's gone. Mother forgot all about you, dear. She forgot all about you. <laughs> oh, we still got the dog's hot dog. Aw. Oh, that's so cute, his hot dog. I guess we could keep the hot dog. Nah. We didn't even get money for the hot dog. Did she eat those things? She must have ate it already. Because she picked that fruit and it's not in her pocket. Is it in here? Maybe? Hold on. No, it wasn't here. Didn't she pick that passion fruit stuff? Did she She must have ate it when I wasn't looking. Because I had wanted her to save it. Because I thought maybe she could like grow it or something. But she ate that. I guess that's how she has more days left then. I don't know. 
Ooh, speaking of the yellow ghost, he's here. Can I get pregnant here, though? I don't think I can. But um, we can talk to him a little bit. Oh, i sorry. I thought you were the blue-headed guy that I had a baby with recently. I'm about to ask where my child support statement was. Oh, that's my son. Uh, I don't know who you are, but you have my child last name. Oh, you are my daughter. Ain't you Robin? Didn't I name you Robin or no? I think I named you Robin. No, I don't know now. I don't know who all you are. Free dread. That's a woman ghost. Wait, can you not haunt stuff? Okay, forget it. He haunting things. I'm gonna go get my tattoo. Wait, who here the tattoo artist? Maybe... I'm gonna let my son do my tattoo. Because I don't see a tattoo artist here and I want a tattoo. I need a tattoo. Who does the tattoos here? Old man, you do tattoos? Yo, um, dead bitch. Stop playing games. I need a tattoo. Uh, I'm... Sir, you'll be dead before I get you into bed with me. Like, that can't happen. Who, who can give me a tattoo? Invisible magnets? No, you must have took Viagra. Because that must be the only thing trying to draw anybody together right now. I just need someone to do my tattoo. And he's trying to, like, get it in. Like, I'm not trying to do nothing with you, old man. I have standards now. I've had, I've had babies with sexy men. Look, Charlotte got a good body. Look at that. Oh, she's scared of her little tattoo. Now, what tattoo says mommy? I hope this don't turn out to be some horrible, awful tattoo with smiley face on it. Please give it the chance to get a real tattoo. Lady, are you still over there playing the guitar badly? Stop it, please. Sir, are we going into create a cinema or nah? Oh, God, what did he do? No. Wait, these ain't permanent, right? That's that's not permanent. Bad tattoos ain't permanent, right? Remove all tattoos. Wait, you telling me these tattoos are permanent for real, for real? Oh, hell no. No, they're not. They're not real. That's not real. That's not real. That's not. No. Mm-mm. No. Uh-uh. Dude, come fix the mess you've made. Where the hell are you? The invisible person on motorcycle. Somebody need to do my tattoo. Over. I was supposed to get laid. I can't get laid when I look like this. You know what, um, Charlotte? Go home, fly home, run home now. We will deal with those bad tattoos later. That what we get for, like, asking a 105-year-old man to do our tattoos. He clearly was not qualified. He was damn near halfway dead. He probably had a stroke when he was doing it, and that's why it came out so bad. Um, let's just ask this guy to get us pregnant. Let's invite him over. If it don't work, it don't work. I want to try and get pregnant tonight, though. I'm just trying to think of ways to get him over here. It's too late at night to throw a party. Not interested in a date? Well, can you just come over here? Or do I have to come to you? Because I can do that, too. He don't feel like coming... Okay, he don't feel like coming over. We are going to him, then. Y'all already know what the deal is. We go and ring doorbells to get our D. That's what we'll have to do. Go get what's yours, Charlotte. Look at them all inside the house, too. Now, I don't know how many children I've had with all of you. Yeah, ring a ding a ding -y. Holiday lights. <laughs> I gave them holiday lights for no good reason. Oh, Charles, that's nice. Please let me in, Charles. You know, I don't, I'm not here for you. But I do remember we did have children together. You gonna let me in or not? Nah? No, I don't, okay. You need to wake up and get me pregnant. So glad you're here, Rory. Band member, okay. Band manager, that's good, baby. Hannah's doing well with work. That's good. I'm glad you're here. It's time for you to get me knocked up. You've been trying to avoid me for days. But I found you. I got bad tattoos in the process trying to impress you. <laughs> Send your purple swimmers my way. Oh, the whole phone's going off. Let's, let's shut it down real quick so he don't get suspicious. <laughs> if he wasn't here, I don't know what my backup plan would have been. I guess I would have had a baby with him. Because I don't think I did yet. I don't think. Charlotte's energy just plummeted. 
dang, the pipes are rattling. Things are being shaken loose. <laughs> are we pregnant? Yay! Let's go on home since now your seed has burrowed deep down inside of us. And we'll sprout a hopefully purple or fairy or both baby. So I'm naming this baby after my grandma who passed away back in 2012. And like my grandma, she was a genius. And Joe Alice gets the pleasure of being baby number 40. And she's a purple baby. She's purple. She's a beautiful, perfect purple fairy. Oh, Charlotte, your uterus. I know it hurts. Don't feed it though. Just drop it on the floor real quick. Oh God, this is gonna have so many bad connotations.